Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. I am open for readings right now. The link to my site is below. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have the card of patience. All right, so Spirit's advice right now is to be patient for something. Let's see. I do think that might be one more card for Scorpio. <clears throat> oh, the mass. So maybe you're waiting on a particular person. There could be something unexpected as well. I'll put that right there. So what is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Overall energy. You know, you feel like you may feel stuck right now. And you may be wondering why. How somebody feels. Ten of coins. We've got the two of coins. Someone might be making a decision here. Oh, the seven of swords is in the hidden position and the knight of coins. Okay. So I feel like you're waiting for somebody to make a decision. And yet there's something you don't know with the seven of swords. So something unexpected could be happening here for you, Scorpio. With another person, a mask and energy. We'll see what is going on here. Oh, made us look up. Moving together. You know what's kind of funny? Looks like under the deck is two of cups, first of all. But I think it's funny, it's like there's a lineup coming towards you. It's like there's an earth sign possibly for some of you that you do not want to deal with anymore. The way he looks with the nine of wands, he always looks kind of irritated. But what's behind him or her is the knight of cups. And this is what you don't see. This is what... I think some of you are either patiently waiting for new love to come in or a specific person. Either way, it's just funny that this is in the hidden position. What you don't see, that someone has feelings for you. All right, I'm trying to make a decision here. See, but this is a lot of times in this position, Scorpio, is how someone feels about you, how someone views you. They may see you are dealing with somebody else. Maybe they're waiting till the, you know, the coast is clear till you have ended this, or this person. But I, this feels annoying. Unfortunately, I have to say that because only because of the nine of wands and it's kind of like you're waiting for something to Leave your life and unexpected is in the hidden. This is interesting. Okay. What is going on here for Scorpio? Uh, three of swords. Ah, ace of coin See that's the world see there's an ending. It's like okay it feels like there's someone who maybe keeps coming back around or someone who can't cut ties, Scorpio. And the world is here to say, no, this is ending or this is, you know, this is over. I feel like you are okay with that. I feel like this is, um, you're waiting for someone or something new. So maybe they they can't detach. Maybe their energy is still um, interfering or so. Or maybe maybe they pe these people know each other and someone's saying, oh no, Scorpio and I are still dating. We're still going out, but you're really not. It's just, it's very interesting. But basically it's probably that someone doesn't want to accept the breakup or they don't want to move on. Maybe they want to give it one more chance. Um, you know what else I'm getting? So I'm getting some of you, you found out that there's a person who liked you or maybe you went out with somebody and it just wasn't in your cup of tea. It wasn't, didn't, wasn't a good match to Three of Swords. And maybe some of you are saying, why am I dating the same type of person or why can't I meet like the love of my life? Now, right here in their energy is Ten of Coins, Three of Coins, and the Ace of Coins. This is really nice energy. I mean, it could be... Someone who's very financially stable, someone who likes family, someone who is easy to get along with, someone who wants commitment. So, what is this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Devil. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn who can't move on. Um, and there could be a Pisces coming in. I do feel like, so Spirit is telling me to tell you that if there's someone who just like really can't move on, they can't let go, they keep coming back, to try to be patient with them and be understanding. They are going to come back around one more time. Oh, this just fell out. Wow. So do they spy on you? Are they spying on you? Do they show up whenever someone else comes around? Is it like, are they like getting rid of other options for you somehow or something? Because that's, it's like he's watching and then all of a sudden he races in and like, no, you can't, you can't date Scorpio or something. But what is this? I was going to clarify the masculine card. The card that says the masculine. The moon. Okay, so... Again, you may have a Pisces coming in for some of you. Because the moon, again, is unknown. It's something you don't see. And unexpected, I'm assuming it's unexpected love, but I'm going to clarify it anyways. Unexpected for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Fighting for this or pushing this away? 
Okay, I'm not into black magic or spells, and I really do not know how well they work and all that type of thing. You know, it's almost feels like someone is guarding you, Scorpio. Somebody does not want other people to come near you. Like they're kind of like a guard dog. That's kind of weird to me. But it's like it's like you are stuck here, and there's this energy of somebody else around you who's like they're not allowing love to come towards you. Now this could just be literal. This could be. You know, someone at your work, there's lots of options at your work, but they're saying, oh no, Scorpio and I are still dating, or Scorpio and I are still working things out. So they could be spreading lies and rumors with the Seven of Swords. This is what you don't see. And um, so that's kind of interesting as well. It's kind of a different reading. But again, the whole message is, Spirit is saying, be patient with this situation. Be patient with this person. What does Scorpio need to know, either past, present, or future? What is going on? What does Scorpio need to know? Someone will be stepping forward. There will be somebody coming forward and expressing how they feel. One more, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Simplicity, making it simple. Okay, the card says you're making things harder than they need to be. That's interesting. And under the deck, it does say someone is missing you. Have you forgotten all about me? I think of you every single day. If I sit here and feel the energy, I do feel like there's probably like two, maybe even three people that have their eye on you, Scorpio. And I'm getting, you're getting confused, like you're getting frustrated, you're waiting yourself. You don't know why it has to be so difficult to meet the one. But yet, I get spirits saying that the right one is on its way or they're they're stepping forward. Um, you don't see some of the stuff that's going on in the background. Justice. You will have justice. There's another message here. Something, something is working out the way it needs to, Scorpio, is what I'm picking up. And you don't need to overthink it or worry. It's going to happen the way it's supposed to. It could be just that someone else needs to learn a lesson. The Empress energy. What is the Seven of Wands? Hoping for a chance to come towards you. I just feel like there are... I mean, like if someone wants to come towards you who's going to be stepping forward, it may be unexpected and definitely could be the right person for you. I feel like it also you may know the person already. I feel like there's also someone who is watching you who may be telling other people that... I mean, I think you need to be very specific and clear with people you're dealing with. You don't want to talk to them, don't want to date, tell them it's over. Don't let rumors circulate at the job or work or wherever you go. You may need to even, you know, not associate or talk to somebody if other people are watching. Because it looks like people are watching and they're like interested in you, Scorpio, but they don't know what you're doing or who you're dealing with or who, yeah, someone's confused. I feel like there's the right person for you. I feel like there's a person who has commitment on their mind and they see you as a great catch, but they feel like you're still dealing with the past person. You're still dealing with an ex, and I don't know if there's someone's saying something that's not true about the two of you, or they're actually, you know, spreading rumors, or they're blocking love or spells, or I do see that energy could be here in the reading. So just be aware of that. This is <clears throat> what is the advice for Scorpio? What is the advice for Scorpio? The wheel is turning. Things are changing. We may not feel like it, but it is. The Knight of Wands <clears throat> and the Hierophant. I do feel like this Knight of Wands wants to come forward quickly and be in a relationship with you. I don't feel like it's like the player energy because the Hierophant came after them. Maybe it's a fire sign or a Taurus, but I do feel like the way he looks on this card, he's coming forward and he knows exactly what he wants. And he's coming forward quickly with a lot of passion to tell you this. So I think things will pick up and get going sooner. What does Scorpio need to know? When is the timing of this person stepping forward? Thank you. Well, it was sometime around your birthday because your birthday's already passed, Scorpio, so it's not going to be another year. So was there someone who came forward and said something to you around your birthday? Um, so Scorpio, anywhere between October 24th around November 22nd, was there a particular person? Okay. One more card. See, this takes me kind of down a whole another avenue. I can feel like there was someone who said something or wanted to say something, but someone blocked them or, or you know, they didn't get through to you. That's why you just need to be patient and wait. It's it's there. The message is there. The communication is there. Someone may be feeling out in the cold, feeling weighed down right now and waiting, but they'll be around. It could be a Virgo, but I'm getting more like they are just waiting. The Four of Wands, they will be here shortly, maybe within four weeks, four days, four weeks. Could be a twin flame. I know somebody read twin flame by the four of wands. It doesn't really matter to me. It could be a soulmate, twin flame, a partner, someone important, someone very special to you. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.